Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about AI and especially about Hightemp 3D. I'm going to show you what this AI can do in its current state. Hightemp 3D is an AI that generates high quality 3D models. Whether you're creating them for games or animation, it saves you a lot of time. And because my channel is about 3D modeling, I think this topic is very relevant. And after I'm going to give you my thoughts about AI as a professional 3D modeler. First, let's talk about subscription plans and credit purchases. Whether you're a casual user or a professional, Hightem 3D has different plans to give you more flexibility based on your needs. Hightem 3D released their latest version. I'm going to generate my first model with the old version first, and I'm going to compare it with the latest one. I'm also going to compare the results with Tripo AI's latest version to show you how well Hightem 3D outperforms other AIs. So for the first example, I chose this dragon head, which is already an AI generated picture. Let's start with the first version and I'm going to click on texture because Hightem 3D can generate textures. Click on generate and you need to wait a few minutes to get your 3D model. You can export your models in FBX, OBJ or STL, which means that you can use them in any 3D software like Blender, Unity or Unreal Engine for example. Now let's do the same but with the latest version which gives you the best results. I'm going to select the 1536 Pro. It costs a little bit more credits. So the first model on the left is the one that was generated with the old version. The one at the center is the one that has been generated with the latest version. And the last one was made with Tripo AI's latest version. First let's take a look at the ones from Hightem 3D. As you can see the second model has way more details. It looks cleaner and sharper. The first model has some imperfections, even though it's still impressive. The second model, however, is more detailed. The imperfections are gone. And if we compare both models, the latest version is far more accurate, especially with the small details. Now let's compare Hightem 3D's latest version with Tripo AI's latest version. As you can see, Hightem 3D significantly outperforms Tripo AI. The quality of the last model is rather low and the small details are not very sharp. Now if I enable the viewport shading, as you can see Hightem 3D textures look more vivid and the AI tries to match your input image as closely as possible. And we can notice that Tripo AI's textures look darker. Let's try with another picture. I'm going to use this Jules César sculpture. The first model on the left is made with Hightem 3D's latest version. It looks very detailed, especially on the face and the hair. The second one is made with Tripo AI. It looks less detailed. And again, the one on the left looks way cleaner and sharper. It looks very good in my opinion and I'm going to 3D print it. And for example, if you're not satisfied with your first generated model, you can regenerate your models three times for free. So let's try that and let's click on the retry. Okay, so now I have three models in my scene. The new version is the one on the left. It has different details on the face and both models from item 3D look very good. And what's impressive is that it's able to generate good and sharp details behind the model. Let's add a more complex picture. I'm going to use this one, which is a nice hard surface reference. The one on the left is made with item 3D and the other one is made with Tripo AI. As you can see on very detailed models, item 3D is the winner. The model on the left looks sharper. You can also use the cost-effective 512 resolution, which is optimized for hobbyists. The models are faster to generate, it's cheaper and it's perfect for quick drafts. If you want to model something and avoid the blocking step, you can quickly generate a model and you have the right proportions immediately. Hightem 3D also allows you to generate portraits. I'm going to use this picture of Eisenberg from Breaking Bad. You can see that it looks quite good, even if some parts need some refinement. The glasses, for example. It looks very similar to the picture. Now let's talk about what I think about AI. From my own working experience, you will often use models that are not made by yourself, like kit bash pieces, for example. Let's say that you're working for a client or a studio like I do, and you have very short deadlines. To be able to deliver the final models in time, you must find creative ways to speed up your work. So using Kitbash is one of them. It allows you to build bigger models in less time. And most of the time, these pieces are not made by yourself. So you have to see AI the same way. If you don't have enough time and you can't find a model, or if your client has a very specific design, you can use AI to speed up the process. Even if the result is not 100% perfect, it can be a good starting point. Then you can retopologize it by hand in Blender or you can remesh it with Quadremesher. So my final thought about AI is that you will not be replaced as long as you use it as a tool to work more efficiently. Either you adapt or you get left behind. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.